I doing? <sighs> oh, you know. I was training for one of the most competitive sports in the history of mankind. <sighs> Nintendo World Championships. And you might not like it, you sitting there behind your computer watching this. You might not like it. But this is what peak physical performance looks like. Now, in many ways, Nintendo World Championships is Nintendo's answer to the... Oh! Hold that thought. I gotta shower real quick. Ugh. Oh, God, that is so much better. Okay, so like I was saying, in many ways, Nintendo World Championship NES Edition is Nintendo's answer to NES Remix on the Switch. And... For what it's worth, I don't know if I need to mention it, but I'm going to, uh, I kind of was the one that went to Twitter and tagged Nintendo and was just like, hey, look, can we please get NES Remix on the Switch? I'll do anything. Shit, that means I have some favors I need to go fulfill. Well, anyway, we got Nintendo World Championship NES Edition, and it's as close to NES Remix as we're going to get, and it's all because of me. Thank me. In the comments section. In my P.O. Box. PayPal. I don't care. Appreciate. No, I'm not obviously not that full of myself. Something that I am full of. That's not a good way to word that. Something that I can appreciate deeply is the deluxe edition that we got with the NES edition of Nintendo World Championship. Look at this thing. This thing is massive. It's huge. This is what a deluxe edition needs to be. I'm excited about this. I haven't even shown it to you yet. Okay? But Konami, take notes. I saw your Silent Hill 2 remake special edition. Disgusting. I'm not going to go through and do a whole unboxing with you here because I've already opened it and I've already seen what's inside it. But trust me when I say this, this, this is how you do a special edition. Real quick run through of everything. This, this is a box filled with 13 art cards. There's one art card in here for each of the 13 games in Nintendo World Championships NES Edition. 13 art cards, really cool. Don't know what I'm going to do with them, but really cool. Tangible special edition stuff. Speaking of tangible special edition stuff, a pin set! A pin set! Soft acrylic, but a legit pin set. Better than what Pokemon gave us, with those pins that were just like kind of fake plastic. It was like the shrinky dink stuff that had a little bit of a pot, whatever. But still, tangible special edition stuff. Really cool special edition stuff. Konami, why the hell are you not writing anything down? Bloober team, I didn't miss you. You should be writing this down too. Although you were probably influenced by Konami. God damn it! And last but not least, the gold NES cart. It comes with a little. Did I just break the stand? Oh no, the stand broke. It broke down like that. It's collapsible. I thought I just ruined my special edition on camera, but I didn't. It comes that way so you could build the stand so you could place your gold NES cart on a stand and have a cool display for your collection. Cool special edition collectible stuff. But okay, maybe the special edition items, maybe they're not the reason why you're here to see the video. You want to know, is the Nintendo World Championship NES Edition worth playing? Is it worth spending money on? And my answer to you is a resounding yes. Holy shit. I have not no life to game this hard since this came out. Literally. I don't even know how many hours I put into it, but I got all the S ranks on all the, the challenges. My wife, my wife's out of state pet sitting for some friends, and I'm home alone. Upon booting up Nintendo World Championships NES Edition for the first time, you get this cute little message. Between the late 80s and early 90s, NES Championships were held all across the world. The obstacle of visiting the venues in person may have made it difficult for many of you to see these spectacles firsthand. And some of you faced an even greater obstacle, not yet being born. Fuck, I'm old. That's why we brought the championships to you. Now you can experience the thrill of competition against players from around the world. This is Nintendo World Championships NES Edition. So in speedrun mode, there are over 150, actually there might just be 150 challenges that span across 13 NES games within the library. So, we'll just start off with the first one here. Mush Zoom for Super Mario Brothers. Get the Super Mushroom. All right, let's start. Oh god. Oh god. Boom. A plus. What did I say? What did I say? I'm so good at the game. Did you see how the screen was split? 
where I was playing the left and it was kind of small and there was a thing on the right that's supposed to be your personal best playback so you can compare the two. That is very distracting. So follow these instructions with me to select the best settings for your optimal gameplay. Go to settings, survival mode, just my screen's bigger. Who gives a shit about anyone else? What is survival mode? We'll get there. Slow down. Speedrun mode, PB replay, hide, get rid of that shit. Uh, and actually that's, that's it. That's all, there's not a lot of settings. It's like seven, it's two. Anyway, you earn coins by completing challenges. What do you spend those coins on? Why more challenges, of course. Now, this one is called loose change. And it's, it's all about grabbing as many coins as possible. These coins do not ultimately get added to your goal. But look, I got a B++. So the rankings are actually something that I have a little bit of a gripe with. I don't like how they have the ranking labels. And it feels very... What's the word I'm looking for? Trying not to make people feel bad about their gameplay. I get it, but I also hate it. Now listen, I'm not about to sit here and baby boomer Gen X here. I'm not to be like, you listen here, liberal. Back in my day, we didn't have our participation trophy. I just think that the rating system in this game is very funky. The rating system in this game goes from C to B to B plus to B plus plus to A to A plus to A plus plus to S. A lot of pluses. A lot of, you know, a lot of that. Think of it like this. You have one C rank, you have three B ranks, three A ranks, and an S. It's a minor thing. It's a minor complaint. So, you get coins, you unlock challenges. You keep running, you keep going. Okay, so look, maybe you're trying to do a run, right? And you accidentally, you made, you made a mistake, and it didn't work. Well, you can just hit both bumpers, like this, and it'll restart the challenge. You don't have to go back to any menus. You don't have to go back to make your selections again, change your life choice. You don't have to do any of that. It's so nice, and it's so fast. I love that. You can attempt the games again and again and again, as quick as you want, making Fewer, fewer mistakes, learning the mechanics of the game. Learning mechanics about games that you didn't even know how to play in the first place. I'd never played Balloon Fight. I didn't like playing Excite Bike, but I, I asked them. I learned how to play, it was fun. It was frustrating, don't get me wrong. Some of these Ice Climbers, oh my God, I hate Ice Climbers. I never want to play Ice Climbers again after this. But the challenges were fun, you know what I mean? And there was a really mm, strong dopamine hit of getting A, A++. Yes! You ask Johnny Chu right now. Maybe he'll maybe he'll post it in the, the comments. You ask Johnny Chu, okay? How hype we got finally hitting that S rank. We'd be busting our balls trying to rank up just slightly in one game, and finally, we don't know what happened. The gameplay just hit right. It was the run. We get that S, and yeah! Yes! Fuck, dude! That's why I love this game so much. There's something about it, and I don't know maybe if it's just because I'm Nero Spicy, but there's something about playing this game and seeing that rank climb just a little bit higher. You get just a little bit better, little micro bites of improvement, and just seeing that rank and just feeling so good about what you just did. Am I getting a little too excited? Am I getting a little bit too hyped? Am I too much for you right now? Find less. Like I said, there's 13 games in here. It's not all just Mario. Okay, there's a lot of Mario in here, to be fair. But there's Zelda, Metroid, Donkey Kong, Kid Icarus, Mario Brothers 2, Excite Bike, Ice Climber, Balloon Fight, Super Mario Brothers 3, Adventure of Link, <coughs> Super Mario Brothers 2, Kirby's Adventure. Wait a minute, Tyler, I thought you already said Super Mario Brothers 2. Why is there another Super Mario Brothers 2? Because that's the Super Mario Brothers, the Lost Levels game. The one that America didn't get until the 16-bit re-release of Mario All-Stars. Have you never seen the cartridge for it? It doesn't look like any other cartridge you've ever seen. Unless you're familiar with the uh, Famicom Disk System. In which case, this will look um, familiar. Just real quick though, did you notice something about all these games? They're really good. They're all really great games. Yeah, I would have loved to have seen some Castlevania in there, maybe bust some, make some kid cry. Here, beat Dracula. <laughs> now I'll give you a whole list of games. One game that I'm surprised isn't on here is Tetris, because wasn't Tetris part of the original Nintendo World Championships? I don't know. And another game that I'm not surprised isn't on here is the, uh, what was the, the hold on. <clears throat> it was, uh, it was the world-class track meet. It was this one that was on the, the triple cart with Duck Hunt. Duck Hunt would have been sick! Wouldn't have been able to work, though. World Class Track Meet would be funny, though. Could you imagine, like, actually, like, running? You know what? On second thought, maybe... Maybe World Class Track Meet wasn't such a good idea.
Oh, that's refreshing. So that's speedrun mode. That's where you're going to be spending a lot of your time playing through all the little challenges to try to improve your times over and over again. It's these challenges and these playbacks and these times that will get sent to other people uh, that can compete against them in a mode called survival mode. You may have noticed I skipped over world championships. I'm getting there. Slow down. In survival mode, you and seven other players will go up against each other, testing your skills to see who can come out on top. So no matter whether you're playing silver or gold division, you just have to make it through to the top four in the first round. In the second round, you need to make it in the top two. And then in the final round, you need to crush your opponent with your speedrunning skills. But if you lose, it's okay, because you can retry the challenge as many times as you want. Even after you've earned the medal and placed first for the week, you can still continue to try to play through the divisions. Now, you're not technically playing against seven other live contestants, you're playing against their ghost data. So you're going to be playing against seven other people's best times in those categories. Which, you know, might be good, might be bad. Sometimes you get people that are really good at the game, sometimes you get people that just kind of squeaked by and you don't know really why you're here. It's fine, but beyond survival mode, if you really want to test your medal against the rest of the world, you're gonna have to play the World Championships. The World Championships is the main draw of the game. You are competing against everyone worldwide. Everyone, well, everyone who's playing the game. Like right now, look, I have, there's over 229,000 participants in the World Championships, and it's your goal to try to beat them all. There is actively a medal in the game that you can earn for being in the top 20% in any one of these five categories. The World Championships shuffle weekly, and there are five different challenges. And so far, it seems like there are two normal challenges, two hard challenges, and one master challenge. And you can enter the championships as many times as you want, actively. The cool thing about the World Championships, too, is that you can see your results for the last week. So you can check to see how you did compared to everyone else, and it'll show you your world ranking. But you can also see the champion replays, so you can get an idea of how the number one ranked player in the world for each minigame may have gotten their score. Like, for example, let's take a look at Mush Zoom. Okay. What was that backwards jump? What were those backwards jumps? What were those backwards? What? I, genu I genuinely don't know what happened there. Okay, so that's all the one player stuff. But Nintendo World Championships NES Edition does also offer a party mode where up you and up to seven of your friends can sit on the couch, crack a few cold ones, and compete in the same speedrunning challenges to see which among you is the best. All you do, go down to party mode, and there you can pick between two and eight people. The only problem with this is... <sighs> shit. But anyway, that's Nintendo World Championships NES Edition. I could have sat here for hours and gloated over every single game, but I think it's more important for you to jump in and find out what the game has to offer. And Nintendo, please, I'm, I'm begging you, we need an SNES edition. But anyway, I've said all I wanted to say about this. I'm gonna go actually exercise for a little bit. All that running outside made me realize how out of shape I truly am. Might as well get some push-ups. Oh. Oh.